What up, dudes? And dudettes? Ladies. Alright, guys. It's the Brother Duo back. We are uh, reviving the channel. We're gonna go. We're gonna do it, keep it simple. It's not gonna be Grub Bros anymore. It's gonna be the Beat Myers. Yeah, we just wanna make it a little more, I don't know, just a little more personal. We felt like this is the best thing uh, for us moving forward. And yeah, I feel like, yeah, I, we have 70, 750 subscribers. I don't know. Um, if any of you are still st sticking around for the channel, but um, those that are uh, that are here uh, and loyal, this is this, we, this is another channel, or this is our chance to we get. We literally back started on the this like ten years ago. Ten years ago, so it's like kind of like we haven't been consistent. We were so young, not really sure the business aspect of this, but we're just gonna be on YouTube. We got our own uh, personal Instagram, fitness or yeah, Instagram. We're gonna be doing Gary Beatmeyer, and um, Bryson Beatmeyer, the younger. Cooler dude, yeah, and the brother. Not nah. that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're just gonna keep them raw, keep it real. We're still gonna do like maybe show you some recipes, show you some foods we eat, because we have fun with this. We're not like eat the, we don't eat the typical like bodybuilder chicken and rice like we do. Yeah. But we don't eat that all the time. We. we it's, like, it's not as strict as you think. So we have fun with it's, that, and people are gonna frown upon it. But hey, if it works not, for us. Yeah. This isn't a channel about like we. Like I, I study this kind of stuff, but we're not gonna go that deep into it, like nutrition. I'm like, okay, the science stuff of it. We'll we'll throw a little bit of it, but not not your basic, not your, you know, the nonsense. Yeah. So, so but yeah, we're gonna hit some legs today, and uh, yeah, yeah, take us take you through uh, one of our leg day workouts. We do a lot of cheat reps. We've been training together again, so yeah, it's, it's been uh, good. The pumps, <clears throat> back to the bro days. Pumps that's are wicked. I, that's what we're about. So. Yeah. And uh, we're just gonna say, I just wanted to say um, that I was a firm believer in not, in not working out with a partner just because it felt like my partner, you know, anybody, it would ruin your workout in a sense and you couldn't go at your own pace. But this cheat reps are huge and it's, it's like my shoulders and uh, arms have never been more sore just from those cheat reps. So it's, I mean, I, I'd, I would highly recommend it if you got a per partner, but yeah, I guess so. And uh, got a little pre-workout here, a little pre-teen. Yeah, we're gonna keep this keep this rolling, I guess. <clears throat> it's uh, we got uh, this is our favorite pre-workout. Yeah, that, that we like to use. It's like custom to our own liking. Yeah. So give it a shot. Yeah. Um, uh, you can look it up online. It's right there. But it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's unlinked. So look it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, get this thing. Get this kind of into the bloodstream and yeah he's been I just want to like say too like he's been I've been watching him work out like I train like on my own we tra I train more aggressively with more intensity and ever since we started training together he's holding a little bit more he's a little bit leaner because he's taller All right um, so he's trying to add a little bit more mass and uh, with that training intensity he's gonna help but I've noticed too like in his shoulders <clears throat> and arms like he's holding more, what do I want to say, like definition. definition. And I think a little bit of muscle mass is coming through too, but just because his level of intensity has gone up. You know, when you train at a threshold at like, you know, baseline of like, eh, just, you know, over the years, and then you bump it up of like a, to a thousand, that your threshold is up here now. And that is your benchmark where you have to keep it there to ma ma maintain and main gain. And he's finally, I think, yeah. I mean, even me too, I bumped up that benchmark. So that's that's huge in making gains and pushing till complete failure. When you probably thought you when you thought you were reaching failure, you probably weren't reaching it as as close whatever, you know. Anyways, so we're cheat gonna rep. hit <clears throat> we do a lot of cheat reps, so cheat reps and uh take it to our gym. Yeah. So it's uh we're going to the it's, gym. it's leg day. It's leg day. So guys I think for the workout, we're just we're gonna do. He's gonna help me do some cheat reps, but I'm just gonna do some warm ups first. With a, I'm doing some back squats. I noticed like my legs. I haven't done, been doing my uh, back squat. I've been doing more like hack squat. But for me, I think personally, just I just love back squat. Like it, that's just the overall uh, muscle builder for building the quads. That's my opinion. You do you do your thing. Like this is what works for me. And then we're gonna do some leg press. Some like extension, seated hamstring curls, and then some seated cat machine. But we're gonna do some cheat reps, that's why we're training together again. We're gonna push each other. We just wanna keep putting on mass because yeah. that's the goal, size is the prize. Swole is the goal. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here's 
far as like, this is just a warm up, we probably won't record too much of this, but um, as far as like sets go, we don't really count. We just kind of go to what's like, we really, we at least do like two to three sets where total failure. Well, you're trying to do every set goal failure, but just hard work. You just gotta work hard. Nothing beats that, so I'm just warming up, so we'll see. And I'm not too much of like, I don't really care about the way I care more about hitting the muscle and getting the bike to pump. I'm gonna give it a good month before I even start squats again because my knee, even without going crazy heavy, my knee is just inflamed. So, and I've noticed over time it's starting to feel a little bit better. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna just do, still get some leg activation, but like some wide stance, like goblet squats or just some sumo squats is what I've been doing. And usually if I go pretty heavy with a high volume, I'm only 100 pounds, which is enough. But these usually engage my quads quite a bit, but uh, also I'm pretty sore after them, so this is something that you can try as well. Wide stance, and it just really gets, I get low in these, and this is just a stance that I can feel my, not only my glutes and quads firing, but it's just, yeah, I guess it was quads firing. But it just feels really good driving those knees out while engaging my squats as much as I can. And then if I want to do like a front squat goblet, I'll just throw it, get a little bit more upright in a posterior you know, chain or whatever. This is really good for, this is really good for uh, if you're like me and just want to take a, take a rest or break from the squats to really engage your glutes and quads and uh, really correct your form on these. So this is wide stance, sumo squats or goblet squats are very good to really hone in on your form. So, yeah. All right guys, my previous set I just hit 225 for pillow reps. No help, but I'm gonna keep it the same way. I just really am focusing on the quads, just really engaging. And I have Broski here. Get me up. I, when we do cheat reps, big thing for us is the form is getting, the form is starting to suck, but my main focus is just gonna be just to get it up. And then I'm just gonna slowly go down, just feel the burn. He's gonna just pick me up. I'm gonna push him, but yeah, I'm just trying to control. <laughs> the downward movement, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. How many? As many as I can do. Yeah. 
what we gotta do. Alright, what do we got? Alright guys, our gym has this piece of equipment, it's a lick press and also does hack swab machine, which is pretty cool, but do some leg press here. Really control it all the way down, like I said. Keep that time under tension. Could I do six plates on each side? Each side? Probably, but I only got three plates. Well, <laughs> that's what the growth is. Good form and control it. set in history. Oh man. So I tried to go to form, do some good quality reps. At the end I just kind of rep those partials out. Really tear them down, the fibers. Yeah. Okay, so my turn. And uh, I know I said I was going to do any sort of like squatting. This kind of isolates a little bit more. Um, we just, we're doing four plates on each side, nothing crazy. I don't want to go crazy heavy on this. I've maxed this out, or close to it, anyways. Um, but I don't want to start from square one again. I'm like, have this, my right knee is a little eh, jacked. I don't want to, I just want to ease back into it. We just finished up leg press. We're gonna do some, just burn them out a good, a good three sets on the leg extensions. I'm gonna keep it high rep, because you know my ordeal, right knee is a little jacked. So three sets, I'm gonna keep it 12 to 15 reps. So nothing crazy here. Just going for that pump. I'm gonna try, for me anyways, a little bit slower rep. Again, dealing with the like knees that are inflamed. You don't want to do herky jerky. Just enough to get blood flow. You can feel good. Okay, this is where I burn out. Mm -hmm. We're burning this out. Burning these out. Call extensions. I'm looking for a good starter and a good finisher, but always going tense, so doing higher reps. So. Okay. Have a little hip here. Yeah. <laughs> 
We got seated hamstring curls. Yeah. Control it. Oh yeah. Give you a quick peek. Went from leg extension to leg curls. Here we go. Girls for the girls. Yeah. Oh yeah. at the end of the workout for whatever reason. I know we like to try, try to prioritize these, but I mean, we were just feeling them at the end, but we're still going hard and they feel good. I don't know. Yeah. Just trying to get the go as heavy as possible with good form. Yeah. So I know my calves need some work. Nice right. and Small. And dark. <laughs> but. Great. This is like the third yeah. set. Yeah, all right. Keep it rolling. My turn. No, this man. is my turn. It doesn't have to be crazy, stupid, complicated. Just pick a few exercises, a few movements, and just absolutely annihilate it. That's all you gotta do. And uh, if you need to like switch it up, if it gets too boring for you, you can throw in a few different movements. Swap them out. Don't complicate it, keep it simple. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, trying hard. I mean, obviously it's working for us, right? All right that's yeah. all you need to know. That's all you need. All right, guys. So, see you in the next one. Yeah. Next time.